So I never thought in a million years I would buy one of these for my kid. Or kids. Actually, I never thought I'd have kids. That's a different video. But uh, now I own one of these. And what are these? It's a, it's, a, it's a car with a battery in it that your kid drives around. And I was always against it. I was always like, hey, why would you get one of these for your kid? It just takes away exercise from them. They should be exercising. They should be walking. It doesn't offer anything. It's just, it's just uh, indulgence. It's just like pure indulgence. Well, a friend of mine had this battery-powered Tesla, and uh, their cat was using it as a litter box, and so they didn't want it anymore. I know, it sounds pretty gross, right? So they were going to get rid of it, and they asked me if I wanted it, so I brought it home and wiped it down with bleach, and uh, left it out in the sun for a week. And uh, I can't believe how much I like it. So I just wanted to tell you a few things about it. For starters, it has two settings, a three mile an hour setting and a six mile an hour setting. I've never turned it to the six mile an hour setting. Um, I have three boys and they take turns driving it. Um, half the time they're having a blast and half the time they're fighting over it. Uh, in order to keep the peace, we're always setting timers. We allow them to drive it in three to six minute intervals, and that makes everyone happy. Um, oftentimes, two boys will ride in it together at the same time. They can sit side by side in there. The boys are two years old and four years old. I believe this Tesla costs anywhere from 600 to $700 brand new. But the most remarkable thing is, is they keep getting better and better driving it. And they are actually acquiring skills. Every time I see them drive it, they get better and better and they maneuver into tighter and tighter positions. In the next few months here, I'll finally turn it up to the six mile an hour setting. I've never done that. I've never turned it up to six miles an hour. And uh, I'd actually recommend that no one do that until their kids are quite competent. Um, John Deere makes one of these that is, uh, quite tempting for me to get, although I'm not going to pull the trigger on it, but what I like about it is it looks like all three boys can ride in it at the same time. The one thing I would say about this, if you're thinking about getting one, make sure you have enough room for the kids to enjoy themselves. I have this chunk of yard here that I'd guess is probably 30 by 80 feet, and it's a great place for them to drive it. Um, if I had much less than this, I don't think it would be good. I don't think it would be a good purchase. They really need a lot of room to, to drive around and explore. So I'm going to just review two things. The two best reasons for having this is one, they actually are acquiring skills. And two, it gives me an hour of reprieve from the three monkeys every single day. The three playing brothers are always getting into stuff and they're pretty wild. And this is something that they just do and they just chill. So even if all three of them are out here, they drive in the car two at a time while the other one chases them around or watches. They're two years old and four years old. And it's a perfect, perfect little toy for them. Oh, good eye. Hey, drive. Let me get a shot. Drive. Go. Drive. <laughs>